रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताय पति ए नम अयोध्या कांड चैप्टर नंबर एट द टेम्पटेशन द रेसिटेशन बिगिन्स नाउ she flung aside with an air of contempt the costly present of her mistress she really came to believe that a great danger threatened kaiki and was wroth with her for being so obstinately insensible to her so called well meant advice dull witted how is it that you do not know that the waves of calamity are even now closing over your head i cannot for my life appreciate your ill timed raptures The news of Rama's coronation is a death blow to all our hopes and you rejoice when you should lament but i suffer with grief on your account nay i am inclined to laugh every time i set my eyes on such an insane mistress rama is the son of your rival is he not then he is your fate Even the dullest person would never derive any pleasure from hearing the progress and prosperity of his deadliest enemy. I am deeply grieved to see your heart so perverted. Perhaps you have no idea of the grave consequences in store for you. This crown belongs of right as much as to Bharata as to Rama. Hence your son is an object of fear and suspicion to him. The very thought fills me with despair. How can Rama's fear affect Bharata anyway? Well, ferocious animals and venomous snakes suspect a man in anticipation and seek to kill him to save themselves from the fancied danger. Even so, Rama would naturally seek to ruin Bharata to save himself from future danger through him. But this kingdom belongs to Lakshman and Shatrughna too. Yes, but Lakshmana, though mighty, is entirely devoted to Rama, body and soul, and Rama fears him not. Similarly, Bharata has nothing to fear from Shatrughna. But the younger princess, though devoted to the brothers, would like to reign in their turn as well. Well, Rama was born under the star of Punarvasu. He gets the crown first. Next comes Bharata, born under Pushya. Next, Lakshmana, and last, Shatrughna. So Rama will seek to make a way with Bharata who stands next to him. Rama is sure of coming to the throne first and need not entertain any doubt of Bharata's claims to, as a rival. Well, Rama is a deep one, an expert in kingly polity, knows when to act and how, while your son Bharata is blissfully innocent of any such advantages. I tremble to think of what he will suffer at the hands of Rama. Now Kaushalya is at the zenith of her glory and power the holy brahmanas will seat rama on the royal throne tomorrow when the star of pushya rains down its radiant influence Kaushalya too will be crowned with wealth and fame and will set her foot on the necks of her enemies and you your son your kith and kin and we your dependents should wait upon queen kaushalya in supply and guys It is Kaushalya you should fear most. Bharata will take his place as the born man of Rama, the emperor. He will drag down along with him into the depths of sorrow and misery all that are near and dear to him. While Rama's people, men and women, will rejoice in proportion. The lofty nobility of Kaiki was proof against the insidious poison of Mantara's arguments. She thought it disarm the hunchback's malice towards Rama by dwelling at length on his manifold excellences. You are right if Rama be all that you say, but I know well that not one of your aspirations lies at his door. Dharma has no mysteries for the open eye of Rama great men and good have had him under training he is an ideal for all sons to follow and above all he is dasharatha's first born and who more deserving of the crown than he now let me show you how baseless your apprehensions are it is no sound argument that this kingdom is a common property of rama and his brothers Again Rama may his shadow never grow less is fond father to his brothers and dependents it is madness pure to dream evil to bharata at the hands of rama 
I wonder why you are so much enraged and afflicted at the very news of Rama's coronation. Bharata will have his day and sit on the throne of his fathers when Rama has reigned over the happy Koshalas for full five score years. So Bharata he is sure to install his heir apparent even now. It is but as it should be. Bharata will come in for his own and now all in good time. I see no earthly reason why you should be so much afflicted. I heard you say that Rama's installation will work evil unto me. But he is the darling of my heart. And he waits upon me ever with love and uh, reverence even greater than what he shows the Kaushalya that bore him. It matters little even if Bharata does not take his place on the throne after Rama has adorned it for a hundred years. It makes no difference whether Bharata gets the crown or Rama, for the virtuous prince looks upon his brothers at his very self. Kaiki's noble defense of Rama filled Mantra's soul with wilder fears and deeper sorrow. She sighed long and hot and replied, Oh, John Desai that sees good and evil, your feeble intellect stands in the way of your realizing the deep and shoreless ocean of misery wherein you are sunk. Bharata, cheated of his lawful rights and exiled from fair Kaushala, alas, what a pitiful sight! What wiseacre assured you that Bharata will succeed to the crown when Rama has worn it for a hundred years? The rising sun will see Rama seated on the throne of the Ikshvakus and his son will succeed him by right. So Bharata will never dream of the royal crown. You are quick enough to defend Rama and work yourself up to unseasonable wrath. When a poor creature like myself tries honestly to open your eyes to the truth, not all sons of a king sit on the father's throne. If so, wild anarchy and tumult will wreck the kingdom. It is the eldest or the most deserving that is entrusted with the responsibilities of government. It is bad enough that Bharata is deprived of the crown, but worse is in store for him. He will be eternally shut out from any chance of government. O oh, fond mother, your son will be driven from the kingdom. He will be hopelessly deprived of the power and the joys that are his by right of birth. He will wander over the earth like the meanest and the most helpless of men. Perhaps Rama, the firstborn, is a barrier in the way of Bharata's getting the throne now. But would you hear of a way of circumventing the evil? Why, I am here for that very purpose, and alas, you see it not. The unprecedented good fortune of your rival fills your heart with overwhelming joy and seeks to reward me with costly presents in the token thereof. Rama but waits to get the throne untroubled by rival claims to exile Bharata to distant lands or he may send him out of this world. And you have nicely and loyally assisted him in the good work by sending Bharata to the distant home of his uncle. Trees, plants and such like senseless objects do twine themselves round what stand near them. Even so would Dasharatha be drawn towards Bharata and Shatrukna worthy with him and it is you that took effectual measures to prevent it. Lakshmana ever shadows Rama. Nay, if Shatrukna, the favourite of Bharata, were here at least, there is a chance that the old king may be reminded of his absent son and you have denied yourself that slender hope too. I have heard people say that some woodmen would fell a likely tree for fuel, but drew back at the sight of the thorny undergrowth that circled it. So Rama would shield Lakshmana and he in his turn would stand between Rama and danger. The celestial twins Ashwinis are not more attached to each other than they, and who knows it not? Lakshmana would never dream of evil to Rama. But Rama will ever seek the death of Bharata. Hence it is better that your son flees to the distant forest from his uncle's country. For fate waits for him here. This seems to be good. 
Need I repeat that you and yours may enjoy wealth, power, fame, and all the delights that life can give only if Bharata's brows are encircled with a royal crown? Forget not that he is the son of Kaikeyi, the hated rival of Kaushalya, born to inherit the highest place in the world and enjoy the sweetest comforts. How could the guileless boy hope to live, shorn of the crown that is his by every right, and in the relentless grip of Rama in the flush of his wildest hopes fulfilled? The lordly elephant, hunted by the dread monarch of the forest, and at last under his merciless fangs, is a happier object. Now is your chance, if you would save your son from the clutches of his inexorable foe. In the pride of your beauty and of your unbounded sway over the old monarch's heart, you have put slights innumerable upon Kaushalya. You have trampled upon her heart. You have lacerated her feelings. And who but a fool will wonder if she wreaks dire vengeance upon you and yours now that her son is resistless ruler over countless million? I have spoken enough. The shouts of a nation's joy that crown Rama as a happy monarch of this broad and fair earth, its towns, its mountains, its forests and the seas that gird it round, those very shouts are the death knell of your joys and hopes, pride and power, and your son falls with you. The sun rises to see Rama seated on Dashrata's throne, rises also on the last day of Bharata's life on earth. Devise some means whereby you could seat your Bharata on his father's throne and immure your mortal enemy Rama in the dark depths of the distant forests. Mangalam Koshale Indraya Mahaniya Gunapne Chakravarti Dhanurja Sarva Bhaumaya Mangalam.